Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Sephron Olive, and it's time for another Brewer's Minute. And I am super excited for this week's episode of Brewer's Minute for two reasons. One is, the card we're talking about is one of my favorite cards from Kaladesh. Madcap Experiment is so sweet. The second reason I'm really excited is I really like the lesson that Madcap Experiment can give us, and this week's brewing lesson is sometimes there's more than meets the eye when it comes to bringing around a card and sometimes drawbacks are not drawbacks but actually benefits or even the entire reason to play a card so a quick reminder before we break down madcap experiment if you enjoy brewers minute and the other series here on the channel it would be amazing of you if you haven't already to click that subscribe button down the corner click the like button great ways that you can support the site for free so let's talk madcap experiment madcap experiment is really unique four mana sorcery you reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal an artifact, then you put the artifact on the battlefield and put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order, then Madcap Experiment deals damage to you equal to the number of cards revealed that way. So when I first read Madcap Experiment, first thing that popped into my head was, ooh, that is sweet, we can use it to get a Blightsteel Colossus. So... You got a 60 card deck, you play four Madcap Experiments, play four Blightsteel Colossus, you cast a Madcap Experiment, you know 100% you're getting a Blightsteel Colossus, on average you're going to lose like 14, 15 life, uh, whatever, if you can kill your opponent that's fine, it's still a little risky, that's a downside, it's hard to play Madcap Experiment with just a single playset of one artifact in your deck, and if you play more than one artifact in your deck, you're not guaranteed to hit the artifact that you want, so it's kind kind of challenging, has a bit more of a random aspect to it than you'd think, unless you're just willing to risk your life and potentially die to the damage that it deals to get you the Blightsteel Colossus. One way that people went around fixing this problem is Platinum Empyreon. So with Platinum Empyreon, your life total can't change. So you simply cast a Madcap Experiment. If Platinum Empyreon is the only artifact in your deck, you know that Platinum Empyreon is going to be the artifact that you hit. And then since your life total can't change, even though Madcap Experiment is going to deal this damage to you, your life total doesn't change. So it's basically four mana, get a Platinum Empyreon for free. Is Platinum Empyreon good enough to build around in that manner? Maybe. It is really powerful, and for four mana, it's absurdly powerful. So it could be good enough to do that in a modern deck. And again, you got the same problem if you play more than just Platinum Empyreon, some Mana Rocks, some Solemn Simulacrums, Worm Coil Engines, then you're not guaranteed to get your Platinum Empyreon, you're losing all that life, and so forth. So these are... Uh, kind of the main things people have thought of with Madcap Experiment. But the lesson today, as I mentioned in the intro, is sometimes it's the drawback that you're actually building around. And I gotta give some credit here to Scott Murray on Twitter, sent me a list that has some of these ideas in it, so thanks to Scott for sending me some of these ideas. So, Madcap Experiment, when you read it over, you think, okay, I get an artifact, that's really awesome. I can get a big, super powerful artifact that's going to be great. And then I just got to, like, fade the life loss and hopefully not die to it. But there's another way. What If you read it the opposite way, you can read Madcap Experiment as play zero artifacts and you reveal your entire deck and you get dealt a ton of damage. So you're going to get dealt, if you cast it on turn four, probably 40 some damage, depending on exactly how many cards you've drawn. So you can read Madcap Experiment as four mana, deal 45 damage to yourself, let's say. Well, why would you want to deal 45 damage to yourself? And that's because there's a couple cards that can flip this around. So this becomes a two-card combo with cards like Intervention Pack or Hollow, which prevent all the damage that a spell would deal, or a source would deal, and then you gain life equal to the life lost that way. So with Madcap Experiment, all of a sudden you can flip it around, so instead of lose 45 life or be dealt 45 damage, it becomes gain 45 life for 4 mana. So instead of going from 20 life to negative 25 and being dead, for 0 mana or 1 mana, you all of a sudden jump all the way up to 60 life with just this two card combo. Cheap, efficient, easy to put together, and then you can finish off the game 
any number of ways. Ether Flux Reservoir, you Madcap Experiment, you gain 45 life, go up to 65 life, play Ether Flux, you 50 your opponent, fill it Air Sovereign, and Test of Endurance will win you the game if you just live to your next upkeep with their alternate win condition trigger. So Madcap Experiment is double spicy and super, super sweet because not only can you just get a Blight Steel and get a Platinum Imperion, but you can also use it as this really wacky way to hit yourself for a ton of damage and then use that damage to transmute it into life gain and then use the life gain to actually win the game. So I am really excited to build a deck around the the downside of Madcap Experiment. So as you're brewing decks and thinking about different cards and spoilers, when you see a downside, don't just immediately write it off as, oh, that's a downside that sucks. Look at it and see if maybe, just maybe, there's a way that you can turn that downside around and make it a good thing, because sometimes really powerful things slip through the cracks under the guise of being a downside, when really they're not a downside at all. They're really a combo piece, a potentially game-winning synergy that you can find. So keep that in mind as you're evaluating cards in the future. Anyway, that's been our Brewers Minute for this week. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon.